Wow. <laughs> Sharing wonderful, important news, not even recording. What were you saying? Well, what I was saying a twice, a twice yearly injection has been proven to be 100% uh, effective in preventing HIV. Ooh, 100%. Yeah. That's crazy. Sure. Act like you're hearing it for the first time. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing this for the first time. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rx Accord. I'm Rick. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for GC content. Thank you to every sports and patron fellows for the accounts. Go like button. Close your eyes. Can you guess what sound this is? That's right. It's Corbin's mom. Today, we got a, uh, this is a new trailer that just dropped for, say this. De Monte Colony 2. De Monte Colony 2. De Monte Colony 2. That's right. De Monte. Arunithi, Priya Bhavani Shankar, AJ R. Ganamutu. Um, I think this is a, a De Demont Colony uh, one. Is I believe a Tamil film, and it's scary. It's a scary film. Um, I have Good. Heard, it's, it's been one that's been on the list for Spooky Month, so you guys can tell us if that it's like worth a watch or not. I think it came out a while ago too. Okay. But uh, the new sequel or something to it is uh, this one. So people just came out about five hours ago. Um, so that's good. Just check this out. If we can get a new spooky film, that'd be cool. You know, it's the one I'm most excited for. I have two I'm excited for. It's three. No, nah, no, like legit horror. Oh, what? Obviously, Nosferatu is yes. coming. I don't know if that's going to be horror, more just... I think it will be. Being horror? Yeah. And then... Mike Flanagan is grabbing the wheel and taking over the Exorcist franchise. Ooh. Which is exactly what they needed because that movie that they just made it came out was an absolute train wreck. Here we go. Okay, Silas. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> First of all, people know they can come out with movies on a different day, right? Yeah, I was going to say, that day is loaded. <laughs> Looked kind of interesting. It definitely became CGI heavy uh, towards the end. And I'm always weary of movies that I'm like, I don't, I feel like you didn't need to be CGI heavy. Um, that became no. very CGI heavy. 
especially horror. The best horror movies are simple, far more simple. Yeah, and it's it's yeah. Um, I think it could be interesting. I don't know anything about the original, so like how much this is carrying on, if any, of the original story. Um, so you guys have to let us know the ones that have have seen that. I thought it was kind of interesting, but also I could see it also just being a bad um, uh, sequel uh, as well. If it's a sequel, obviously people went and saw the first one. Yes, and it justified a second one. So that's the target audience they're going to be grabbing is the people who saw the first one and want to come back for the yeah, second one. So you guys have to let us know. But about for that. for 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 somebody completely unaware of it, it uh, yeah didn't do much for me. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What's the first one about here? 2015 is when the first one came out. It's after consuming liquor, four friends decide to do something interesting and visit a haunted bungalow. However, they do not realize that they have, uh, basically, they find an evil spirit. Um, starring Ms. Buscar. Oh, Yogi, Yogi Babu. Babu. Yogi Babu's there. Wow. There you go. He's in everything. <laughs> Bros and everything. Uh, Demote Colony 2. Um, is Yogi Bobo in this one? Doesn't look like it. It looks like a different cast. So is it... Uh, so, so, so. Oh, is that the same guy? Did, was that name in there? I don't remember. Ar I didn't see. Ar I see. Yeah, yeah, he's in it. Okay, so it looks like that actor is in it uh, again. Same director... Uh, as that one, nothing. That one just says thriller, and this one's a horror thriller. Um, yeah, there are. I, I do know people liked the first one, uh, at least the ones that saw it. Um, are you excited about this one? I, I can't imagine 2015 that this one was so reliant on CGI. So I, I feel like you should never be reliant on CGI if you do not have the money to make it look good. Yeah. Um, if you do not have the money, simplify your story because it's just going to take people out. We're in the year of our Lord, 2024. People in every country know what good CGI is. And have for a decade. Yeah. Yeah. Um, India, ample films in every industry now that have really good CGI. Uh, they obviously have always seen Hollywood movies or Korean movies or whatever. Um, movies that have it so when you when you don't it's distracting to everybody regardless of what you spent on your movie people i don't think are anywhere near as forgiving as they used to be mm -mm. uh with uh cgi in india like because even in the beginning of our channel i think people were a little more forgiving mm -hmm. but since like big films have come out and they're like okay so we we're on yeah, Hollywood's so it, level. Yeah, since since Indian cinema caught up to Hollywood and the rest of the world's CGI level a few years ago, uh, there's there's not much appetite for anything less than that as the yeah. standard. Yeah. yeah. I've seen and, it even from Indian audiences. And, I mean, you can't tell because you have to see the film and don't judge a film by its trailer per se because there's sometimes lousy trailers in great films, vice versa. Uh, to not, if, if, um, if it isn't story-driven, if you just have ideas of, Okay, at some point I want us to have this, and at some points I want us to have this, but it doesn't really propel the story much, and it's just there to see if you can do something with the visual effects. Uh, that's typically that typically never works. Like George Lucas has always repeatedly stated, Star Wars was never a science fiction film for him with his focus on visual effects. The visual effects were only there to enhance his story, which was very much a like a soap opera, an old mythological story, and the visual effects were just there to help propel that story. And that's why it works. But yeah, he destroyed his original three by adding CGI later on. Yeah, he didn't. He admits that was a mistake. Oh my god, I hate it so much. I know, I do too. The first, the first three are, I have the, did I have, not need to be made. Uh, no, no, I'm not saying those. I'm saying they have taken the original three. The episode oh, four, five, yeah, yeah, six. yeah. They've he added some added CGI, CGI elements. CGI. I know he shouldn't have done that. And it's absolute garbage. It is. He shouldn't have done it. Uh, and it agreed. Pisses. I actually um, have the original. VHSs, which don't have any of the additions. Nice. And I had my uh, grandpa um, burn it onto USB drive, all three of them. Nice. So, so I don't have to watch the ones with the uh, CGI. Yeah, added. it's annoying. It's so bad. Yeah. Um. I don't anyway. Know. 
You guys let us know, obviously, the ones that have seen the original. Yeah. Are you excited about this one? Was, do you feel like this was needed? Uh, and uh, which we, for our spooky month coming up, obviously, we got just a few they're more. They're hard to, to find, man. Are, are there still some spooky ones that we can watch for they spooky are hard, month? They're hard to find in the anywhere in the world. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times Andrani and I want to watch a horror movie, and we have to deep dive. And when we finally find something we think is going to work... It has a less than 50-50 chance of being good, let alone great. When you get a great horror film, it's a rarity. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know. Down below. Juice!